evening, everyone. I'd like to call the Avon Board of Education January regular meeting to order. Would everyone please stand to recite the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, welcome to everyone. Our first order of business is election of a chair. Once the chair is elected, I will return to my place uh, to the right. So I'll open nominations for the election of the chair. And um, if you want to nominate someone, you can put the person's name on the record or you could say pass. I'll start to the far right. Pass. 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 I'll nominate Deb Shoup. I second. You just you just nominate. You don't have to second. Okay. That's fine. I guess I pass. Okay. So she's already nominated. Do we? We're not voting. No, you. Nominate. Not, you're not. It, nominations are open, so we'll entertain okay, names. Okay, so I pass. I'll pass. I'll nominate myself. Okay, so we have two nominations. We have Deborah Shute and we have Houston Putnam Lowry. Um, we'll close nominations. You have a yellow uh, ballot before you for election of the chair, the yellow one, the yellow one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's blue. You're right, Houston. I apologize. Um, so anyhow, if you would write your name down and then uh, record your vote. May I make a motion? You don't have to make a motion. I'd like to make a motion to vote um, by show of hands. You, well, okay. Someone want to second that motion? I'll second the motion. Okay, so the motion before you is do you want to vote by a show of hands? How many people want to vote by, how many people are in favor of that vote? Four in favor. Hold your hands up, please. So we have Mr. Kavanaugh, Mrs. Shute, Mr. Spivak, and Mrs. Young, and Mrs. Blea. Okay. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Abstentions? Uh, do, well, can you leave your hands up so we can record it? Houston Putnam Lowry, Mr. Fleischman, Mr. Indomenico, and Mr. Bogdan, uh, Mr. Oprika. Okay, so by a show of hands, how many people are voting for Deb Shoot? Okay, keep hands up. Uh, okay, so it's eight members. So do you have those down? Okay. And opposed? Well, technically, I think you have to ask for the second candidate. Okay, second candidate. All right, motion carries. We have, or not motion, but we have. Uh, Deb Shute is the chair. Congratulations. And I move. Just, I should have explained that when you vote on the record like that, then I would count the votes and name the individuals. And usually the vote is by ballot, but that's okay. I guess you've done it here either way, and you voted to do that. Thank you. So briefly, I just want to say thank you to the board, and I want to acknowledge Houston for the mentoring that he's done over the last two years. I've learned a lot by watching him, and I'm grateful to be working with all of you. I'm really excited. I think as a team, we are going to do good work together and have a positive impact on the children that we serve. So thank you very much for acknowledging that. So now let's move forward to election of the board vice chair. Would anyone like to make a nomination? Laura? I would like to nominate Jay Spivak. Would anyone else like to make a second nomination? I would like to. Or someone else? I would like else. to second that. If we need to second it, I don't believe we need to second it, right? You don't need to. Second it. Okay. Is no there nomination? Are there any other nominations for other vice chairs? All in favor of Jay Spivak, raise your hand. So, by unanimous vote, Jay Spivak is the vice chair. And now our last position, the election of the board secretary. Would someone like to make a nomination for board secretary? I know. Oh, sorry. Oh, I would like to nominate Jeffrey Fleischman. Second. Are there any other candidates for the nomination? All in favor of Jeffrey Fleischman as board secretary? So by unanimous vote, 
Jeffrey, congratulations. Is everyone comfortable sitting where they are for tonight? That, okay, excellent. All right, so I'm very excited that we get to celebrate a ton of students tonight. So I'd like to call forward um, Mr. Dave Kimball for Avon Achievers. Jay will assist. So, those of you who don't know Morgan, Morgan is um, a student in AMS, an eighth grader. If you know anything about Morgan's background, it is that she, for all intents and purposes, has been able to overcome a brain tumor for several years. But there's a little bit more behind the story. Um, we did a fundraiser at AMS, at the behest of And there are very few individuals in the world who can knock on my door and ask me whether or not I want to kiss a pig. Um, to raise money to battle cancer. Um, and this young lady is one of them. Um, look, there's two degrees of separation in our lives of all the people around us who have been impacted by cancer in one way, shape, or form. I know I lost my mother and I shared that with you. And, and it was a great privilege to work with you. We were able to raise over $1,300 for um, Alice's Lemonade Stand. And um, it was all because of her work. And she organized everything. She, she basically came in, walked away, and then a couple weeks later, there's a pig. Um, so, <laughs> so I wanted to thank her for her tenacity and her, you know, her will to get things done and to make it happen. A tremendous and great experience for the entire school to be able to come together through that. So, congratulations. Congratulations, Morgan. Now I will invite up um, David Pelling along with. Laura, would you like to? Sure. Laura Young will join. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's my privilege tonight to recognize the outstanding scholars of our senior class. Uh, approximately 1.6 million students take the SATs every year, and uh, a typical high school might expect to have one or two semi-finalists and maybe five or six commended scholars. Uh, Avon High School is uh, privileged this year to have such an outstanding cohort. We have seven uh, semi-finalists and 16 commended scholars. We're here tonight to, to recognize a really uh, amazing achievement. Uh, so semi-finalists, for instance, would be in the top 1% of the country. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's really if you go and compare it to like area schools, you'd see you know, many of our ones that we often compare ourselves with. We have a couple of these. So without further delay, uh, starting first with our uh, National Merit Scholarship semifinalists, we have John Carroll.
Douglas Murray. <laughs> Shakar Sundarish. <laughs> Jennifer Wall. <laughs> and Jason Zang. Thank you. That was very exciting. Congratulations to everyone. Your hard work has definitely paid off. I know many of you are here for that purpose, so if you want to be dismissed and go about your evening, you're welcome to do so. Um, so now um, we'll move on to approval of the minutes. Um, can I have a motion to approve the Board of Ed regular monthly meeting December 19th, 2017 minutes? So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Did you get the move? I guess we'll give it to Jason. And Laura seconded. So all in favor? Aye. 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 So I believe it's by unanimous. No, any, any objection? All right, now may I have a motion to approve the Board of Education special meeting minutes from January 8th, 2018. So moved. All right, Jackie moves. Do I have I'll a second? second? Jeffrey seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any ob objection? Any abstentions? Nope. Moves unanimously. Okay. Now we have our section for communications from the public. If anyone would like to come forward and speak. Everyone's all set? All right. Okay. So moving to our next item, the finance committee meetings will be approved, uh, minutes will be approved in that subcommittee as well as the communication and school climate and culture committee minutes. So we will move to the student representative report. So if Amir Johnson and Heather Monroe would like to update us on what's going on. Thank you. Um, thank you, new chair and vice president, uh, vice chair and secretary. Um, so, um, beginning when we came back from break, um, Avon High School had a spirit week. Uh, this spirit week did not consist of any type of um, spirit wear, but just mostly supporting the games and going to them. Um, and also today, as you can see, we have a middle school concert, um, as long as a high school concert going on, um, which started at 6 o'clock today. And also, midterms at the high school will be to be determined because of all the snow days that we've had, and perhaps tomorrow, not sure yet. But depending <laughs> on that, we'll be pushing it another day to the 23rd. That's it, thank you. All right, thank you very much. So now we'll move to Heather Mashad, our Director of Fiscal Affairs, to update us on the financial report. Um, we didn't have a committee meeting this month, so I'll just go over a, a few things if um, you would permit me. So the first item that I would like to bring your attention to is the fact that the journal entry for the first um, portion of the fiscal year, that would be July 1 through um, December 31st for the health insurance contribution, the ER, which is the employer um, portion, totaled $1.9 million. So that went through. That was your biggest change in December. Um, we'll do the next journal entry at the end of the year, which should look similar to that. Um, the next item that you'll see uh, coming up this month would be the second payment for transportation. Normally, I try and have it calculated by now, but we don't have an invoice yet um, through December, so we're going to calculate it this month, so you hopefully will see that um, large payment coming in next month. And then finally, just a bit of good news to brighten everyone's day more. Uh, we got the audit results for the Board of Education, and the Board of Education has received no management letter comments. So we had a very clean, fantastic audit. Well done. Thank you very much. Um, does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask? I, I actually don't know if I can go back. Oh. Um, because we're not having a, another climate 
and culture committee meeting should we move to approve the minutes here since there won't be another opportunity to approve them or should we move to approve them in the community in the uh, curriculum um, in this in the next curriculum minutes I would think you could approve them at the next uh, because they were folded that the okay, charge so for that committee was folded into the new committee so I think you could do it at the next committee okay. thank meeting. you you're welcome any other questions? Okay. So now we'll move to um, Dr. Patty Foote um, to discuss the superintendent's report. You have before you the hiring report for January, and I'm really pleased to see that we have the two social workers hired, mm -hmm. and uh, we also have two non-certs, and uh, a retirement, and then transfers, basically transfers. Excellent. Does anyone have any questions? And the enrollment report, no significant difference from uh, the previous month. So we're holding pretty steady at 3,223, 24 students. All right. Excellent. Any questions about that? All right. Thank you, Dr. Pettiford. You're welcome. Okay. Now for the consent calendar, would anyone like to pull anything from the consent calendar to discuss? So could I have a motion to approve the consent calendar with items 17-18-92, 93, 94, and 95? So moved. All right. Jeffrey moves. Do I have a second? Second. And Laura seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any objections? Any abstentions? Moves forward unanimously. All right, now we're already up to communications from Avon Board of Education members. I do have a couple things that I would like to um, address. We're at the time of the year where we need to decide what our subcommittee composite will be, as well as get our dates in order for our meeting. So there is a white piece of paper in front of you that I'm gonna ask each board member to jot down at least two subcommittees that they're interested in participating in to help me in compiling my vision is to have four members on each subcommittee so if you could give me options it'll just help me to place people appropriately if you're also interested in chairing certainly make note of that my intent is to compile these and make the decision this week and get a letter out to you to notify you of the subcommittee obligations Jeffrey can you remind for everyone what the new committees are? Absolutely. Thank you for saying that. Um, so we are down to four. So the ones you would be deciding th uh, from were curriculum and professional practices. Second would be finance. The third is negotiations. And the fourth is policy. I have a question too, Deb. Okay, Jason. Just to help you, and maybe it goes without saying, but is it easier for you if we put these in our order of preference? Absolutely. That would probably be easier to try to appease those. So once you've done that, there is another question I'd like you to think about. I, um, Jean Ann has given us the idea to perhaps keep our board business on the same evening of the month. So if you are open to the idea of scheduling our meetings for Tuesday nights so that also the district can plan accordingly to hopefully not have overlap with a concert so people can possibly attend if they choose to, just write a yes if you're in favor of that or a no on there as well. So that'll help in deciding the meeting dates moving forward. Okay. Have four committees there are normally four Tuesdays in a month and if you have the Board of Ed meeting on a Tuesday it doesn't work it does with negotiations not being typically a regular meeting so the other three okay. could be compiled even we've had some discussion if you're interested in in giving me feedback on this as well you can certainly jot notes down um, if our meetings can be perhaps on the same night so if we had finance come first and then have policy right after it then perhaps have one other night with the curriculum and professional practices and then our regular meeting would maintain the third Tuesday of the month so that's kind of the thought process that I was having about that does anybody have questions negotiations are really more loose in terms of working with 
whoever you're negotiating with, to, and it typically happens around four in the afternoon or so on any given day of the week. So it's hard to commit that to a Tuesday evening. Jay? My only comment would be to recommend that the, if we do go forward with this, that the finance be the Tuesday right before the Board of Ed meeting so the administration and Heather can prepare the information for that month. That makes sense. Thank you. Any other comments or questions? Okay. I have one more. Definitely. Sure, Jason. Strictly committees we're talking about right now. I know we haven't had any discussion about the town council liaison. Yep, we're getting there. I oh. promise. I promise. <laughs> That doesn't need to be quite as formal, I, I don't think. I will keep my peace. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I guess if you've completed them, if you want to pass them down, you can. Um, just I want to make sure that I get them from everybody so I don't miss anyone. Is everybody set? Thank you. Oh, and please, yes, write your name at the top. Thank you, Bogdan, for writing in that place. David. Excellent. Thank you very much. I don't think I've had enough exposure to your handwriting to be able to tell. Too much pressure. Did everybody write their name on there? We're good? Okay. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. Um, so those are the two things that I wanted to talk to you about. Do any board members have other things that they had wanted to bring up? Uh, I assume you're getting to the other assignments. That yep, that's coming okay. up. Yep. Everybody is set? Okay, sure. I just want to take some time to thank Houston for his service as the chair. I think he did a tremendous job in a, a difficult time period that we had and really appreciate everything that he, he helped us with in that time frame. Yeah. Agreed. Excellent. Anyone else? Okay. So then moving on to committees and liaison reports, we don't have any reports to give since our committees haven't met yet. So I'm going to bump down to letters E, F, G, and H. Would anybody be willing to volunteer to be the board representative to the Curriculum Professional Development Council? I've been doing it and I do enjoy it. So if you don't feel like you're, you can, I am happy to volunteer for that. But I want to give the opportunity to someone if they'd like. Question, Madam Chairwoman? Yes, Jeffrey. When is the time when do they typically meet it is a full day commitment from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. three times a year our next one coming up will be in February and Donna will inform us of what that date is um, but you know it is nice to have other perspectives there too Donna has been generous to offer two board members to attend if wanted I've typically been the one going but again I want to give opportunity for you to witness the teachers in action I'm happy to participate with whoever else, if, if there's another, or if you want to, somebody there sometimes, or um, is the board member actually there as an observer, or just, or, or do they participate as well? Typically, how I've done it is I primarily observe to listen and see how they interact, but they've been very gracious when I have questions to answer them. So th there's been no lack of wanting or ability to participate if you choose to, but typically the topics that are being covered are things that I couldn't fully engage in the way they can. So I just ask for clarity if I need it, and they've been very gracious about sharing that with me. So it, it's a great day. It's very um, mentally intensive. Even on my own when I leave, I'm energized but exhausted, so I can only imagine how the staff feels. But it's definitely worth the time if you're interested. Perhaps we could have it as an opportunity if somebody wanted to go once and somebody else wanted to go another time. I don't think there's any harm in that at all. So maybe that we can discuss it that way. You don't know the February date, do you, Donna? I'm sorry to put you on That's the okay. Spot. I want to say it's the 28th, but I'm not positive. Okay. I think that Bogdan had a yeah, question. No, I would, I would support that approach that you just said about okay. after attending some of them. Okay, excellent. And I would volunteer for that. All right. Thank you. February 15th. Okay, so February 15th, it would be 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. here in this room. Can you repeat the date, please? February 15th, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the high school community room. Okay, now would someone be willing to be the representative to the Avon Board of Ed to the Board of Finance? It might be nice to have two people so we could have an alternate if possible. That basically 
involves you attending their meeting and then reporting back what was discussed? Do they actively engage with the Board of Ed member at the Board of Finance meeting and ask us any input as well? And I've never... They do, and they sometimes ask for a report from the Board of Ed. Yes. They do. Okay. Do I have any volunteers for that? I'm sure it's very exciting. I was planning on volunteering for the Town Council liaison. But since oh, the, okay. Since so the Board of Finance seems so... Okay. Intimidating. I'm happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Jason, do you mind if I write your name down That's for that? That's fine. Okay, thank you. Sure so, now I don't know if it's going to be a fight, but the Avon Town Council representative, do I have any volunteers for that? Same thing. You would attend that meeting representing the Board of Ed as well as reporting back to us what was discussed. And again, it'd be nice to have a partner to do that. I'm happy to be an alternate if David. All right. I'll be an alternate for that. Okay, so I'll write David as our representative, Jackie as our alternate. This is for town council? Correct. And if anyone is so moved to be the alternate for the Board of Finance, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'll be an alternate for, for Board of Finance? Yes. Okay, so Jason will be our rep and then Laura Young, alternate for Board of Finance meetings. Thank you very much. All right, and now board representative to the Capital Region Education Council. Jackie has been that. I'm not sure if Jackie's still interested or if you want to explain what's involved with that for someone else. It is fun. <laughs> As I said just now, it is really fun. <laughs> and it's um, Wednesdays, maybe once a month. Um, and it is actually really interesting because you get to meet board members from around your region. and. Um, that's been a really uh, great opportunity for growth for me to kind of learn um, different perspectives and how different people kind of look at problems. Um, you're really an active member on the CREC board, so it's an important role. Uh, they serve lunch. It's in Hartford. <laughs> Good. Good lunch. <laughs> it's during the day. What is typically the time on uh, that, Jackie? From 11 to 2. It goes like this. Do I have any takers on that? And perhaps we could have an alternate as well. Or that could even be another CPDC scenario where if someone couldn't attend, is that I, open I, or no? Would well, you, you really have need, you really need, I can do it again. And maybe if I have an alternate, it'll be a little bit easier. Okay. And sometimes I don't, you know, you don't have to always, you can miss. It, it doesn't, um, nothing terrible happens if, if, if you have to miss, it's okay. So if, I guess I can commit to that if I also have an alternate. Okay, can we get an alternate for Jackie? All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Unless somebody's dying to, to be the alternate, I'll be both. All right. Okay. Any questions about any of that? Madam Chair, not a question, but uh, a report of the town council meeting has been previously distributed to the uh, board and I request that be spread upon the minutes. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Houston. Do you want to say anything I'll verbally? Any questions. Okay. Does anybody have questions for Houston about his attendance at the town council meeting? I, I, I do have questions about that. Okay. Um, what was the discussion around the turf field? When is it going to be done and how is it going to be paid for? None of which could be answered. There were no questions raised regarding the uh, composition of the turf field. Um, there were concerns raised as to whether or not the third leg of the stool, being community contributions, uh, would be able to be produced at a manageable level. Uh, the state has been ignoring the issue, uh, and so the town manager said he would write another letter to follow up, but we are not, we have not received any funds, and the original plan was to make it a three-legged stool, so there would be town funds, there would be state funds, and then presumably some fundraising component. I don't think the three legs of the stool are equal. What was the greatest part of the state? I, that has not been mentioned. So if you're talking about, I think it was $5.4 million, I think it would be hypothetically difficult to have 
to expect private donations of a third of that. And that was commented out of the meeting. And my recollection is when we discussed it from a Board of Ed perspective, we, the last vote we took was, I think, that we amended the vote to make sure that the Board of Ed had the final say on whatever material was used for the fill. For the fill. That's for the record. Any other questions for Houston? Thank you for attending, Houston. I'll make sure your comments from the email that you shared go into the minutes as well. Um, did anybody attend the Board of Finance meeting? Okay. So, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Okay. Do we need an all in favor, Jeanian, or? Well, it's up to you if you want a second or you want to say by unanimous or acclamation. Okay, do I get a second? <laughs> okay, Laura. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 And the meeting is adjourned at 7.32.